Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Jumping high kicks, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, over. most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds, fighting out of New Delhi, India, the Giant. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Iron! All right, give me the loser lock room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedown. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Oh, big punch land. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight. Huh? His timing is on the point. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, you heard him bat with a jab. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Single collar tie now. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Keep the pressure on. Just over three minutes to go. Great punch landing with so much power. Get those combinations 
Alright, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Right hand punch with the punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Try to establish that jab. And he landed the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Powerful leg kick lands. Driving the back of the head. Pulling forward on the head. And lands with beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on those Stuck Oh, on. man, look at that. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. Oh, nice. Especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, here we go with round two. Round okay, one, pretty round good, two. not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see. Really charged out ahead in the second round. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Throws the right hand there. Oh, nice. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big ball for the punch land. Now we get back to range. Left hook counter. All right, so again we find our man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh! Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive me over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. He's throwing every part of himself into the oh, big lane. No, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. 
Got to be careful, Armbar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice job to defend that takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh, man. Jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially just the Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and a nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Etsy Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Ooh, what a punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Well placed with the kick. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, the better. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He lands a big knee to the body. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. These are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control 
the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, big knee there. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We go right inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugley out has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.